So another extremely important consideration for your keyword research is to choose keywords that show commercial intent. So essentially you can see by the search term that a person wants to buy. That's really the type of keyword that we want to target. We want to target high converting keywords. We want to attract buyers to our site. We don't want to just attract visitors. So one way of identifying commercial intent is thinking about keywords in a couple of different buckets. So we've got buying bucket, research and comparison bucket and awareness bucket. Obviously buying is the best category, the best keyword. Really this shows that people have a very high intention to buy. That They have got keywords, you know, they're using keywords like buy, coupon, deal, discount shipping really these people are ready to buy they've got the credit cards in their hands um, and they just want to go straight to the end of the funnel and buy so they're fantastic keywords to target and extremely highly converting not as much volume but high conversions so the second bucket then is research and comparison people are searching for things like best review top 10 cheap particular brands like Toshiba uh, products like MacBook Pro or categories such as tennis shoes. So these are not as far along in the uh, sales process as say somebody who's ready to, to, to buy, but there's a lot of volume there. So it's also good to target these keywords. Um, then in the final book, we've got awareness. So these are more informational keywords. People are searching things like how to, best way, ways to these people don't have as much intention to buy it's going to be much harder to convert them but these type of keywords make up a huge amount of the overall searches so it's good to maybe target these um, you know in your blog try and get them onto a mailing list and then hopefully you can hit them up later for sale so another way to get a sense of how valuable a particular keyword is, is to really look at how much somebody is paying for that keyword and to advertise for it and get to the top of the search results. The way that we can do that is by going into the Google Keyword Planner tool in AdWords. Um, and in a later lecture, I show you how to get set up and get orientated there. But I just wanted to show you here because really the suggested bid that's the cost per click that they um, that advertisers are roughly paying in order to get one visitor from for this particular search term this gives a very good indication of how valuable this particular keyword is so for example we can see that translation average monthly searches worldwide there is 1.5 million but as you can see, uh, the suggested bid is pretty low, $1.12. So that gives an indication of any traffic coming from this keyword does not really convert into dollars. Whereas if you look at transcription, lower number of average monthly searches, but advertisers are willing to pay up to $11.00. 11.5 dollars for this particular keyword so that gives an indication that traffic for that keyword is very valuable here's another one medical transcriptionist you know pretty decent number of average monthly searches um, and people are paying up to 15.88 dollars for that particular keyword so that again shows that if you can get traffic for that uh, keyword that um, it's extremely valuable and you're going to be able to easily convert them into customers. You know, as a complement to the suggested bid, you can look at competition. This is really the number of advertisers who are competing for a particular keyword. And again, that just shows um, how many people are uh, think this keyword's valuable. So as you can see here, medical transcriptionists, there's only low, medium and high and for this one it seems like it's a high amount of people competing for it. That's obviously why the, the price is being pushed up. Translation services, here's another one. 
again 16 and, and quite high camp competition as well. Translation online, as you can see, nobody's really paying for it because the intention of the user there is just to get a free intent or translation online. They're not looking to pay for anybody, whereas these guys are. So that is a great additional tool to use and particularly suggested bid. That gives us a sense of commercial intent and how valuable the keywords are to us.